Hello YouTube, uh, this is SinK101 again with another video. I know I haven't made one in a while, and reason why is because I've been on Blog TV, which I will post that on my YouTube channel. Check me out live. Um, and today I'm going to start my YouTube videos again, uh, mainly an RPG Maker series continuation, but this is going to be like a little thing showing you what is possible in the RPG Maker. 2003 even though it's a very crappy version VX and XP opponent but this um, is still pretty good and just a little side note uh, it's spring break for me and I know I've coughed a lot in all my other videos when I got sick over the winter and I don't know if you're gonna believe me or not but it freaking snowed in the middle of spring break literally and so I'm getting a tad sick again so if I do cough it's not my fault <coughs> and yeah and I may be making, remaking my Resident Evil videos. I'm not sure. I really don't want to replay that again. But now that we've wasted a minute, how about we get into it? All right. All right. Um, this is a dungeon I made. Creepy music. Um, okay, there's a switch right here that activates the dungeon. Okay. Which activates this bridge. And you talk to this chick. Um... And she'll turn on the bridge. There's like a bridge down there. And you talk to her. <coughs> activates that bridge. Um. It all look the same. You're wondering why I'm talking to them. You're gonna find out soon enough. I'll show you. Soon enough. Young one. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. For I know this, like I just made this map, so I think I'd freaking know how to get through it. Uh, I'm going to show you a tad more when I actually <clears throat> get through it. I'm just showing you a little walkthrough of the map. Yes, random people are appearing out of nowhere, I know. Oh yeah. Um, she activated a bridge. And she activated another bridge. And another person. Activates a ton of bridges. <clears throat> that drives you around the whole freaking place. And there's a girl right here, but the bridge director, anyway, what does she do? Like, what do all these people we haven't talked to do? Let's find out. A bit of trickery. Haha. Ha. What did that do? It reset the dungeon, that's what it did. And yeah, they all do that, and they will do that over and over every time you talk to them. Most of them will do that anyway. Like, that's why they all look the same. It's a trick. Like, if you're gonna make a dungeon, make it hard, you wanna make a trick to it. I mean, if they all look the same, and you're supposed to talk to them to activate bridges, that'll be a good enough trick for most people. They'll freaking just go around talking to them, wondering what the frick happened. If you're stupid enough, you may talk to the same person over and over, trying to figure out what's going on. Maybe report a glitch, and then you realize it's part of the dungeon. <laughs> Sorry. I know, I coughed. Shut up. I know if you're watching this, you know who you are. Jerry. <laughs> um... Alrighty, we finished the dungeon, we're not going to talk to anybody that will reactivate it. And if you talk to somebody that activates a bridge, they don't do anything. He's got, he's supposed to have like an Irish accent to it, so I'll try to read it like that. Well, hello, looks like you made it. What's the follow worthy of me magics, yeah? <laughs> Come forth. Whatever, that was crappy. I think that was British tad. Okay, well anyway, how is that possible? Simple eventing, just switches and whatnot. And what the main point of the dungeon is, you, you should like make it to where like, this right here can be entered at a certain point of the game, usually the beginning, because most games have the final dungeon somewhere near the beginning to where it screws with people and they're just wondering what's in this place. They come down here, you can make all this stuff invisible until a certain switch activates to complete this dungeon. And like after you beat the game, you get like a certain stone or something, then if you use the stone down here, it actually activates the dungeon or something, and then you get into go down and fight the final boss right there, the little square you see. Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much that was only one map. Um, I'll try to use this dungeon. I'm gonna start up my RPG Maker tutorials again, and um, I'm gonna have to remake that map again. And I'll continue them. I'm gonna build on to this game because I actually kind of like this dungeon. I saved the dungeon. Um, that's for sure. 
And we're gonna continue our RPG, and hopefully through the tutorial we'll be able to make a small game, and this will be like one of the dungeons in it. Hopefully, and I'll even make the boss fightable. So yeah, keep your eyes open for that. Uh, I'll try to make my Resident Evil 2 videos, just depending on how many people actually want to see that all over again, without me screaming at the beginning of videos, eating crackers with a crappy camera and all that crap. Yeah, um, I may even do some Grand Theft Auto because I recently put that on my computer again. Anyway, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, thank you to all my viewers. I'll have my blog TV up in the link, or whatever, the sidebar, and on my channel. And thanks for watching. This is SinK101. Have a good day.